So I went to um, a Quaker school, actually, from okay. kindergarten to 12th grade. So that's like part of me. <laughs> so the Arch Street Meeting House is the largest Quaker meeting house in the country, second largest in the world. Wow. There were tiny meeting houses throughout the city, dating back to 1695. In 1804, the Quaker women gather and they say, fellas, it's nice that all you men are created equal. <laughs> what about us? They sell off the original meeting houses. They use the money in the bricks to build this beautiful building here. The Quaker women are the driving force behind that. A lot of advancements here. The most important of which is the first anti-slavery society in America. And so we'll kind of end where we began, talking yeah. about equity. Yeah. Any movement you see towards equality up into the early 1900s, it's very likely that you're going to find a Quaker woman's name attached to, if not at the front of that yeah. movement. That it's going to lead to Philadelphia in 1793 being named the bastion of equality. Ready to go inside? Yes. All right. Quaker women and the fight for the vote. What we hear, the Quaker women that we talked about will really pave the way towards equality. Lucretia Mott starts the first anti-slavery society. That is life size. She was four foot ten. I was wondering. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You know, as powerful as she was tiny. Uh, you have Alice Paul, and then of course, probably most famously, Susan B. Anthony. And I'd love to show you guys to the official meeting room okay. on the other side. Yeah. All right, so this is the main meeting room. It's still active to this day since 1804. All the benches come from the original Quaker meeting houses. So the furniture here dates back to 1695. Wow. These cushions here, they've been stuffed with the same horse hair since the mid-1800s. Wow. And that's the whole room. Wood floors, wood benches. Again, really beautiful in their simplicity. You guys want to grab a seat? This makes me feel so nostalgic. We used to have meeting for worship once a week when I was in school. It's incredible. You can really feel the history in this room. We are coming near the end of our tour. We'll say our goodbyes outside, but Philadelphia has always been my happiness. Thank you guys for letting me show you around. And we started talking about the Quakers. We can end with the way that the meetings start. A moment of silence. A moment of silence. I'm glad we came here. Me too, it really takes me back.